All right. Hey, thanks for your time. Hey, I think I've got a, a really awesome sharing, and I want to entitle this The Secret of 111 and the Eternal Power of Agreement. And I really, you know, believe that the Holy Spirit gave me a word yesterday morning. Now, I didn't, you know, hear it audibly like I did on uh, May 15th and May 18th. Um, I have a video and you can check it out. It has a, over 150,000 views, so a lot of other people uh, think that I heard from heaven. And I do believe I heard directly from the throne of God that this was a sovereign decision by God to speak to me. And uh, he knew that if he would speak to me, that it would speak to others. He told me specifically that uh, there was an appointed time when the vision would speak. And apparently, uh, all the details, if you ever heard some of my videos about how this all came about, and this is the miraculous timing of it all, you just have to check out. Just watch the video. Uh, it's entitled, uh, Prophetic Word 2014-2015, How Everything is About Ready to Change and How Prophecy Will Affect You. So be sure to check it out. Anyway, so yesterday morning, I woke up with this burning in my spirit, and that was the importance of the power of agreement. And the question was, is of what kingdom are you in agreement with? Okay, now, begin with the secret of 1111. Back in probably 2011, there was actually a movie, 111111, there was a big deal about that everyone was seeing 1111. They were seeing it on their clocks, they were seeing it, you know, on, you know, digital you know, numbers, license plates, you know, books, numbers, you know, wherever. It was just everyone was seeing 1111. And they believed the, the people in kind of the New Age and, you know, the, uh, you know, anyways, they, they believed it was very significant. And I'm not saying it wasn't. I actually believe that it was. However, sometimes we might not understand the meaning of something until it's finally revealed. Uh, and I always tell people, you know, that, uh, you know, you eat food for your physical body, um, your soul is made up of your mind, your will and emotions, and, you know, you feed your soul, in a sense, with knowledge, with, you know, things in the natural world. But your spirit is fed by revelation, okay? And so I believe that, yeah, people are excited about, you know, if they receive revelation, one, 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 what does it mean? The secret, what does it mean? Um, the power of eternal agreement. What does it mean? And so a lot of times, just out of curiosity, people want to know certain things. You know, I try to do videos, you know, not just, you know, trending according to the times, but of what I believe the Holy Spirit is leading me to do to teach and help and work with people. So, um, as I said, that video I did with 150,000 views, um, I believe that God himself wanted this thing out. And it's touched, you know, the lives of many people. There's many atheists that have come to faith in Jesus Christ. Satanists have come to faith in Jesus Christ. Um, agnostics, uh, people, the Islamic have come to faith in Jesus Christ. There's a lot of people that have come to faith in Jesus Christ through that one video. Now, this video, again, the secret of 1111, what it really is, and the eternal power of agreement. And again, the question is, is of what, you know, of what, kingdom are you in agreement with? Okay, now, there's a lady that I really respect. Her name's Kat Kerr. She uh, has been to heaven. I believe in heaven. I believe that, you know, God is on his throne. Jesus Christ is at his right hand. The Holy Spirit is here on this earth. You know, Jesus said that when the Holy Spirit has come, he said he will convict the world of sin, because they do not believe on me, of righteousness, and of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. So three things, you know, um, convict the world of unbelief, righteousness, and judgment, okay? So uh, unbelief is because you really don't believe in Jesus Christ. Oh, what well, I go to church. Yeah, but do you believe in Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ made statements like, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater for I go to my Father. Um, he said that he's coming back. He said that we are to, you know, give our lives fully and wholly to him and be on fire for him and be a witness for him in Jerusalem, Judea, and under the uttermost part of the earth. And uh, we're just supposed to live for God. You know, he said uh, you're either to blow hot or to blow cold, but because you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. He made statements like, 
Um, he that is, does not gather with me scatters, and if you're not for me, you're against me. Um, he made some pretty heavy statements, and so, you know, there isn't a power of agreement. Now, it says in Amos, chapter 3, it says, unless uh, two walk together, you know, how can they be agreed? And in, in a sense, God was saying, look, how can you walk with me if you're not in agreement with me? Now, the Bible is very clear in the last days there'll be wars, rumors of wars, there'll be, you know, famines, uh, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. The Bible says that men's hearts will fail them for fear of things that are coming upon this earth, that the powers of the heavens will be shaken, there'll be false prophets, betrayal, you know, all kinds of things. And Jesus said these are just the beginning of sorrows. So he didn't paint a beautiful picture of the end times with wars and rumors of wars. But one thing he said was he said kingdom against kingdom. And this was the question yesterday morning was of what kingdom are you in agreement with? So it's very important. There's two very opposed kingdoms. Jesus Christ said, I am come that they might have a life. The Bible says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says that the knowledge that is from beneath is earthly, sensual, and devilish, but the wisdom that is from above is peaceable and easy to be entreated with good fruits and without partiality. So there are two diametric, diametrically opposed kingdoms. Uh, the Bible says that one day the kingdoms of this world uh, shall become the Lord's and his Christ. Now obviously that hasn't happened yet. There's also a verse in, in Revelation that says that Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels and there was found no more place in heaven. Why? Because Satan was in agreement of trying to overthrow God in his heaven and uh, he tried to use deception and murder and lying and all these things in order to basically put himself in the position of God and God's like, look, I'm not going to have anything other than righteousness, holiness, justice, purity, rightness to you know, be on the throne. And that's only right. He is our creator. He has every right to be honored, loved, and worshipped because that's who he is. A created being should not be a creator because he didn't create everything. See, everything is in its own order. So see, if you're in agreement with the kingdom of darkness, you're basically in agreement that says that someone that didn't create the heavens and the earth has a right to be on the throne. And that's not true. Daisy, you okay? I got Daisy on my lap, so I had her, my hand on her, and so if you're wondering, you know, it's like, well, it's okay, sweetie, okay? I think... Uh, She's like trapped kind of here. Go ahead, sit down normal now. Or do you want to get off or what do you want to do? I don't know if Daisy's in agreement right now sitting in my lap. I'm not sure. Are you in agreement with this, huh? Yeah, you kiss me if you're in agreement. You're not in agreement. Okay. Anyways, so in regard to the power of agreement, this is very, very important. Well, after Daisy's obviously uh, not in agreement. You sit down over there. Please do not, uh, you know, uh, wake mom up. Yeah, I can talk and my wife can sleep. Is that amazing? She's over there asleep right now. Anyways, so I am getting my Bible out because this is what I want to be in agreement with. Now listen to this, okay? This is Psalm 1-1. It says, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Okay? Now, this is... And this person is in agreement with that he delights in the word of his God. Okay, We are to study it to show ourselves approved as workmen that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Jesus Christ said, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. The Bible says many of his disciples did not walk anymore with him. Why? Because they weren't in agreement with what he was doing. All right, But it says, if you're in agreement, you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, you will bring forth your fruit in your season. Your leaf will not wither, and whatever you do will prosper. Okay? So, you know, God's like, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added to you. Remember, the Holy Spirit um, came into the world to convict the world of sin because they do not believe on Jesus Christ of righteousness, and then the prince of this world is judged. Well, what's righteousness? Well, righteousness is our ability to stand in God's presence without the sense of sin, guilt, or condemnation. Well, that was bought for us through the precious blood of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. So see, the Holy Spirit 
He convicts the world of unbelief because they really don't believe in Jesus or they haven't received him. I mean, if you believe that the chair is going to, you know, hold you up, you sit in the chair. If you believe in the salvation of Jesus Christ, you call on the name of Jesus and you get yourself saved, okay? So if you're not saved, you're not in agreement with the kingdom of light because you're saying there's some other way to be saved other than Jesus Christ. And the Bible says there's no other name given under heaven whereby a man might be saved other than the name of Jesus. And it says that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord of the glory of God the Father. And the Bible says that God's allowed all nations to walk out their own ways, but he's laid on Christ the iniquity of us all. Anyways, okay. So, there are two kingdoms in conflict. And that's what he said in the last days. He said it would be kingdom against kingdom. I thought always thought it meant, you know, like Iran or Iraq against Israel, or, you know, um, one country against another. But it's actually two kingdoms, and that's why it's important about the eternal power of agreement with what kingdom you're in agreement with. Now you're like, well, yeah, uh, Bart, but you mentioned about the secret of 1111. What does that have to do with agreement? Well, I'm telling you, I'm going to get to this, because, see, um, the, the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord his God, and in his law he meditates day and night, he will be like a tree planted by the living waters. Okay, now, this belief was, is that, you know, somehow this shift in consciousness, where a oneness, a unity, in which man basically would come into perfect alignment and harmony, all those that had this in a sense, this Christ consciousness or this consciousness, whatever it was, they were all coming into this universal consciousness and therefore it was going to bring about a shift in, in this world. There were all kinds of things that they said were going to happen that none of the things they said were going to happen did happen. Okay. Anyways, they didn't happen. That's not true. Okay. So, uh, but I do believe there's significance to it. So I'm going to get into it a little bit further. Okay. Now, I talk about this tree. Now, just like there's a kingdom of light, there's a kingdom of darkness. God gave me an analogy um, years ago. He showed me a, basically it was an evergreen tree, okay? Um, it was like, you know, a Christmas tree without the lights. A bird flew over it, a big large bird with like a red beak uh, and dropped on it, okay? Droppings, okay? <laughs> uh, and uh, I saw the dropping on the branch of the tree. All of a sudden, after this happened, all these birds flew over this tree and droppings started to occur all over it. Well, as I watched what was going on, I mean, there was little droppings all over this tree, but all of a sudden I looked and I saw two eyes form on one of the little drops. And then two eyes over here, two eyes over here, two eyes over here. Every little dropping had two eyes. And then all of a sudden the mouth was formed. And these little demonic looking little beings, just the faces, okay, just the drop themselves. It looked like a drop, okay, just like a bird dropping on your car. Um, and uh, anyways, but they were all alive. Well, one of them pulled out of himself. I saw this. He actually reached into himself and he pulled out a straw. And he lengthened it to reach the next little, you know, white dropping in the tree. And he blew. And when he blew, he either breathed in or he blew, or he did both. I'm not sure. But what happened was, is the little white dropping that he connected with increased in size and he increased in size. Now the Bible says you will reap what you sow, you'll sow what you reap. It's more blessed to give than receive. Somehow the kingdom of darkness can operate in the same principles of the kingdom of light because the Bible says whoever says to this mountain, the Bible says there's certain laws that are set up in this universe that work for saint or sinner alike. So the kingdom of darkness operates within the principles of God's kingdom you know, the Bible says Satan was more subtle than any beast of the field that the Lord God had made. So he uses subtlety. Uh, it says he was full of beauty and wisdom and pride. And so, you know, he can enact things on this earth. He's called the God of this world, the God of the age, the spirit that is now at work in children of disobedience. So what kingdom are you in agreement with? Well, this kingdom is a well-formed kingdom. They can grow. They can increase in size. And what happened was, is the one gave life to the other, then he pulled out his straw, gave life to the next one, he pulled out his straw, gave life to the next one, he gave out, and pretty soon, all these droppings that came from these birds began to weight down this tree, and I think the evergreen tree even started to turn, you know, like a brown or whatever, okay? So God was showing me 
the oppression of the devil. The fowls of the air, okay, is a spiritual analogy of Satan and his kingdom. God's actually shown me this bird in a dream. I actually saw black birds on Islamic terrorist shoulders whispering to them, you know, giving them revelation concerning the dark side, okay? I mean, I'm just telling you, I saw this. Uh, anyways, um, I saw, just a couple months ago, I had a dream, and I saw Islamic terrorists cutting people's heads off. And this is what ISIS has done. This was before all this stuff happened, but I saw it, and it's come to pass now. And I, you know, I mean, I shared what I saw. I saw also Islamic uh, Muslims killing other Muslims. They were killing their own brethren, and that's happened too. So the Bible says, remember, when the Holy Spirit was come, he'd do three things. Convict the world of unbelief, because they do not believe in Christ. Of righteousness, okay, remember, righteousness came through the cross and blood of Jesus Christ, okay. And then judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. Well, then Jesus Christ said, unless I depart, I won't be able to send him to you. But when I do depart, I will send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to you. And that's not Muhammad, by the way. They say that, that Jesus was talking about Muhammad. Uh, the Holy Spirit... Uh, was with you and shall be in you. Muhammad was never in us and never will be in us, okay? Anyways, that's this not true. It's dishonest. It's a dishonest use of scripture. It's called deception. Anyways, so the Holy Spirit is the comforter. He is the counselor. He is the spirit of the Lord, okay? He is the spirit that is at work in children of obedience, and the devil or the demons are spirits that are working children of disobedience, the prince of the power of the air. Two kingdoms diametrically opposed in opposition to kingdoms in conflict and which kingdom are you sowing toward and which kingdom are you of is the question. Okay, so back to this uh, revelation. So um, what I saw is these, you know, uh, birds whispering into the ears of these people telling them these things and, you know, uh, then again I saw the, you know, the heads, uh, the, you know, what do you call it, the, you know, beheadings, and I saw Muslims killing Muslims, and Jesus said that the Holy Spirit would show you things to come, for he would take of mine and show it to you. So basically, that was the Holy Spirit's job, because God knows the end from the beginning, okay, and the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God, so the Holy Spirit is God, Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit I'll make up the Godhead. I'll get into that later if you need me to. But anyways, so uh, when God the Father was on his throne, Jesus was on the earth, okay, and the Holy Spirit had anointed him. So all three were one, and yet they were three. So the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Now here's the revelation. Jesus goes about doing good. Jesus goes about healing all that are oppressed of the devil. Now remember the analogy of the tree. The little droppings from the bird that represented Satan and his demon host, okay, that they were attacking or oppressing or obsessing or, you know, meaning that that tree was being oppressed, pressure, uh, in order to take it down. So you have a enemy that wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to take you down. He wants to rob you. He wants to steal from you. He wants to 